Hi, my name is Rachel Ipp and I'm an author. I really love writing stories and I wrote the words to The Forgettery, which has been really beautifully illustrated by Laura Hughes. I wrote the very first draft of the story in this notebook in my really messy handwriting. Hello, I'm Laura Hughes and I'm an illustrator. Do you know what an illustrator does? An illustrator draws pictures. So I drew all the pictures in this book here, The Forgettery. In the story, Amelia's granny forgets lots of things. She forgets little things, like where she left her glasses. And she forgets big things too, like people and places. Deep in the forest, Amelia and her granny stumble across the forgettery. It's a really magical place where you can find anything that you've ever forgotten. This is a story about making and treasuring memories. My daughter once asked me, where do all the forgotten things go? And this was the seed for the forgettery. Where do all the forgotten things go? What if we all had a library of forgotten memories we could just dive into and explore? What would you find in your forgettery? I live in Hong Kong where it's really hot most of the year, so my forgettery might have cold and frosty winter mornings or the crackle of leaves in autumn. It might also have lots of song lyrics and cake recipes. And I'm pretty sure there's some maths in there, maybe long division in my nine times tables. My most treasured memories are of time spent with my grandparents. So my forgettery would contain my grandma's beautiful garden filled with plants and flowers and also some sandcastles and ice creams to remind me of uh, fun times spent on holiday in Cornwall. Um, it would also contain all the old telephone numbers that I used to remember and have definitely now forgotten and also all the times that I've forgotten to water my plants. <laughs> now some people don't believe in the forgettery and some people have simply forgotten about it. But for those who believe, it's a place where you can find anything you've ever forgotten. Welcome to the forgettery, said a tall man on roller skates. I'm one of the memory keepers. We look after forgotten memories. We've forgotten the way home, said Amelia. Don't worry, we have everything you've ever forgotten. Maps, moments, memories, climb aboard. Let's find your memories, Granny, said Amelia as they soared into the air. They rose higher and higher until they arrived at a door with Granny's name on it. Granny's forgettery was huge because she was very forgetful. She smiled as her memories washed around her. Moments of delight, lost and forgotten, fluttering in the room like butterflies, paper thin and delicate. Look at all of these beautiful memories floating like butterflies. Laura is going to share a sneak peek into her sketchbooks and talk about how she illustrated the story. Thanks, Rachel. Now, I really love creating the illustrations for the forgettery, so I'm going to show you a little bit about how I made the pictures. Firstly, I start with the characters. And Amelia, the main character here, she went through quite a few changes before we ended up with the final character with her black hair and red coat. She started off looking a little bit like this, which then became this, and then finally this. Here's a time lapse video of me drawing Amelia. A time lapse is a speeded up video.
Now when I finish my characters, then I start on my roughs. Roughs are quick sketches to show how the pages will look. They're like a practice run before I start on the final paintings. Here's one of my roughs from the book. It shows Granny and Amelia cartwheeling. Roughs are often created in pencil, but I like to create mine using ink and a paintbrush. Now I often do lots and lots of paintings to make sure I get the colours in the book just right. I did all of these versions before settling on the two final pieces in the book. This is one of my favourite pages in the book. It includes some tips on how to make memories. Let's have a look. Memory making advice. Share laughter, share a book, share a picnic. Play games, play together, play outside. Take a photo, write a story, draw a picture. Make friends, make a sandcastle, make a den. And when you least expect it, you'll make a memory. Do you have a special memory? How can we treasure our most precious memories? Maybe we can draw them or write a poem about them. Perhaps we could make a memory butterfly, just like in the book. To make your memory butterfly, you will need some paper, a pair of scissors, get an adult to help you with these, and some pencils or crayons. Firstly, fold the paper down the middle and place your hand on the paper, like this. Make sure you place your wrist on the paper fold. Draw around your hand with a pencil or a crayon. You should have something that looks like this. Now, for this part, Make sure you get an adult to help you. Using the scissors, cut around the hand shape you have made. Open up your sheet of paper and you should have a butterfly. Think about the memory you would like to include in your butterfly. It could be a poem or a haiku, a drawing, or a collage. Anything that's special to you. I've made a memory box. I've just taken an old shoe box and I've covered it in brown paper and I've decorated it with some butterflies. If you'd like to make a memory box, you can find any old box and you can either paint it or cover it in wrapping paper or decorate it in any way that you like. So what shall I put inside my memory box? Let's have a look. I've got lots of things to put inside here. I'm gonna put a lavender bag. It smells really lovely and it really reminds me of my mum. I've also got lots of photos of my friends and family, which I really want to treasure. I've got some ammonites, which we found on a beach when I was in the UK. I found those with my children. And the shell, this is from a beach in Vietnam, but it's a really unusual shaped shell. I've also got some seeds, some forget-me-nots. Maybe I can grow those in the future. Put those in. And I've got some art from one of my girls. It's blue and stripy elephant. Pop that in. I've got all the memory butterflies that we were talking about earlier, so I can pop those in and look back on those. And I've also got lots of acorns. You can't find acorns in Hong Kong, which is where I live. And it's, um, they really remind me of the UK. I'll pop those in as well. I can keep adding to my memory box every time I have something that I'd really like to treasure and remember.
We really hope you enjoy the forgettery. And we'd love to know what's inside your forgettery. If you make any memory butterflies or a memory box, we'd love to see it. So please ask your adult to maybe share it on social media. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Bye.